if you're subscribed to my channel, you've probably seen this video already. Uh, it's a re-upload because I had to delete a bunch of videos and add some commentary because YouTube uh, demonetized my channel because I was using nothing but bots. Which I guess you can't do that. Even though I've seen a bunch of other channels do it, for some reason, I couldn't. So they're telling me, um, just throw in some commentary before or after the video. So go ahead and check out the story and I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. On November 13, 2010, a group of drug dealers approached Don Alejo Garza Tamez in his ranch on the outskirts of Ciudad Victoria, in the troubled border state of Tamaulipas. They threatened Don Alejo and demanded that he hand over his land, which given its strategic location would have been used to harbor narcotic trafficking operations. They told him he had 24 hours to vacate the premises on his own free will or they would take the ranch using deadly force. After the criminal group left, the 77-year-old businessman rounded up all ranch workers and asked them to go home for a couple of days, assuring them that nothing bad would happen. A hunter by trade, Don Alejo spent the rest of the day cleaning his guns and rifles and transforming the ranch into a trench. When the drug dealers came back the next day, expecting Don Alejo to give up at the sight of their heavy artillery, they faced a fierce combatant who gunned down at least four of them before taking a deadly hit. The criminals who survived the exchange escaped in their trucks leaving a dirt trail and the bodies of their friends behind. Don Alejo was undoubtedly a brave and principled man. He most likely knew how his story would end and he faced death with his head held high. He didn't call his family to warn or worry them and he made the decision of not placing his workers in danger. He faced what has become the largest threat to all of the nation's livelihood and well-being and gave his aggressors a lesson many in this country would wish they had the courage to administer. This man deserves a movie. Come on, Mexico, man. Step your game up, man. You got a story right here. A real good one. Just waiting to be made. This guy had fucking huge balls of fucking steel. I salute this man for the rest of my life. Like they say, they don't make them like that no more, man. Guys nowadays compared to old school dudes, shit. These guys, for real, they didn't give a fuck. They had a, a huge like sense of pride. You know, they'd rather die before kneeling to anyone. Like Zapata said, um... I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. And that was the old school mentality from old school Mexicans, man. If it was like that, if she, Mexico right now be in another fucking revolution. You know, I don't want to rant too much. Yeah, I like this story. And I think it should be a movie. Thanks for watching. Check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks, or just donate to an app to support this channel. Link down below.